Hello everyone, Ivan here. Today I am going to show you how to become at least 50 times more productive and effective in your business by using an AI agent that works for you in processing incoming emails with attachments. So I am going to demonstrate this on a venture capital fund use case where if you are VC, of course, you know, you receive probably hundreds of pitch decks uh, every week. And uh, it, of course, very time consuming to go through all of them. So uh, we are going to show you today how you can use BotX in order to automate this uh, time consuming task. So without further ado, uh, let's just go to uh, BotX platform on console.botx.cloud. And uh, right from the dashboard, we have a ready to use template for you. Uh, so let's go here to explore more templates. And from our templates list, uh, let's choose GPT, VC, Pitch Deck Analyst and Email Reader, this one. So let's just uh, give it a few moments uh, until the system creates the agent. And uh, here we are. So. Uh, of course, you can change the bot's name as you wish later, but uh, basically to uh, to uh, keep going, this is the uh, this is the agent which is ready to use. So I am going to uh, show you uh, basically uh, on a simple demo uh, of pitch deck that I have prepared for this special uh, special demonstration. Uh, I have a testing pitch deck here, Jingyang pitch deck. And uh, if you have seen the Silicon Valley show, uh, of course, then you will know what this means. Uh, but for those of you who have not seen the show, this is just, uh, let's say, some really absurd uh, pitch deck example uh, for a really absurd idea. Uh, I would not even call it bad idea because it's really more, uh, it could be classified more like absurd, of course. But this is, uh, this is perfect uh, uh, test, basically how to test the GPT if it really understands uh, what, what, is, uh, what is coming. So uh, this simple pitch deck, uh, which is very bad pitch deck, we are going to basically send to a special mailbox. Uh, it could be your VC mailbox or it could be your business mailbox that you use for incoming uh, queries and inquiries. And uh, I'm going to use our testing one. And uh, actually the beauty of this agent is that it doesn't need to be really just for the venture capital use case. Uh, you can use it for pretty much any, any business scenario. Uh, we at BotX have seen um, uh, quite a lot of examples in the manufacturing uh, businesses uh, where uh, basically companies, of course, they receive a ton of queries um, for deals and uh, pricing of those deals. And uh, really the business world is full of uh, similar examples. But really for this demo, let's go with uh, venture capital example. So uh, let's use my testing email address uh, that will basically represent a mailbox of venture capital firm. So we have to first go to email receiver here, open settings, and we have to go to IMAP settings. So let's use my testing email settings. Uh, in this example, it's this one, no reply botx.eu. Yeah, we couldn't get .com, uh, that was already taken. So we have EU domain and let's use password for email here. And uh, that should be it. Uh, there is also settings where we can uh, uh, basically make a couple of other option, options different. Uh, what is also important, if you are starting from scratch, just make sure that you are receiving attachments from the email emails. Um, of course, pitch decks or other sort of files, they will come as attachments. And uh, just make sure that here you want to tell the system what kind of attachments you really want to uh, care about. 
So for pitch decks, it will be mostly PDFs or PowerPoints. Uh, so that's what we have here. And uh, let's continue. Uh, this file to text, uh, this is just a feature, a pretty powerful feature that we have at BotX, which uh, basically can convert pretty much almost any file to text, which can then be understood by GPT uh, here. So for this demo, we will use OpenAI, uh, GPT, uh, GPT, yeah, first we have to put uh, an API token. So let's just use uh, our testing one here, API right here, okay. And uh, yeah, uh, this one will use GPT-4, which is a powerful model made by OpenAI. And uh, since this is a v VC pitch deck analyst, we have uh, some system prompt here, which basically like um, tries to tell the GPT what we are looking for in pitch decks, what we would like to avoid possibly, and so on. So let's just um, go back here. And uh, also we have, of course, prompt, uh, which uh, we are instructing the GPT to actually evaluate and process the pitch deck and give us just the overall score and pros and cons. Uh, also, uh, important note here, uh, just in case you would have some company, uh, some company's policies in your VC fund, like a set of rules, uh, something really more comprehensive, uh, you can just upload them into BotX and uh, here into the training data, you can fine tune your own GPT version uh, of, uh, of the model, which will be of course uh, way more powerful than, uh, than playing with prompts and system messages here, if you have more data and more such policies. Maybe for a VC fund, uh, it's not uh, something that will be the case, but uh, if this would be some use case for some other business, like for example, what we have done for manufacturing firms uh, uh, here in, in Europe, uh, they, you know, uh, those businesses, of course, you can have a load, loads of documents with all sorts of policies and rules that otherwise humans have to know and have to follow. And uh, now, uh, with uh, the power of large language models, of course, we can we can train our own fine-tuned versions. So typically here, it would I would just input data here into the training data. But uh, I, I to make this demo, uh, just uh, just to show you the demonstration, I am just going to stick with this uh, uh, with this basic use case. And uh, basically, that's it. Uh, that's it. I have just inputted my email settings and OpenAI token. And let's just, without further ado, let's just test this. So uh, let's send email to, um, to our mailbox. So I will open my Apple email and let's send it to no reply, bot XEU. Uh, subject, let's say, uh, I don't know, we want funding uh, and like um, uh, see the pitch deck in the attachment. Perfect. And now let's actually, let's actually include our attachment. So yeah, Jing Yang pitch deck. Uh, Hopefully GPT will say how absurd it is. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it. That seems to be all, all right. So let's just send this email sent. Uh, okay, I can see it in uh, my in my outcoming mailboxes. So it should be uh, it should be out. And uh, now let's just actually, uh, let's just test this by clicking the test button here. So uh, let's try it. Perfect. So we got our response and we can see that the GPT really received the email. And uh, and uh, actually, yeah, we have overall score one out of 10, which is 
Uh, I think it's perhaps too generous in this uh, example of Jing Yang. I can imagine it should be zero out of 10. But uh, of course, if you are a VC, uh, you will have much better wording and instruction set than I have here in my quick demo. Uh, so uh, yes, of course, cons. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I can imagine there are like the list of cons. It's much larger than just these 10 points here. Uh, but it seems to be a really, it seems to do the job. And um, uh, this can be perfect for you if you want, if you just want to filter uh, really time wasters, uh, you know, the stuff that uh, you can just, uh, you know, that it's just not investable in this case of a VC pitch deck. So I can actually as well uh, rename this bot to, uh, let's say, Jing Yang Defender. I think it's called like Defender. Yeah, just to emphasize that you know, sort of filtering role uh, and a, actually time saver for you if you are a VC fund. And uh, also in the real world, of course, uh, you will not see the here in front of both eggs and clicking testing buttons here. You want the AI agents to be completely autonomous, to just sit there in the cloud, do its job and work for you. So in, uh, uh, of course, this case, uh, we can uh, slightly change this, uh, this workflow. And uh, let's say, uh, let's say that we would like to actually automatically send you notifications to your Slack channel. Yeah. So I think this is, uh, this can be pretty uh, useful and viable use case. Um, you just have this, uh, this AI agent uh, automatically checking emails and just giving you notification on your Slack with the overall score. So it's it will be much faster for you to just ignore completely those with low score or just completely filter them out. That could also be achieved in the AI agent. Uh, but in this case, just for the quick demonstration here to show you the, uh, the demo, uh, let's do Slack integration um, with, uh, we have special uh, node here. So uh, we will connect it like this. Yeah, before before it goes to output, we also want to notify Slack channel. And uh, let's open settings here. Integration Slack. Uh, yes, we have to link our accounts here. And my Safari was blocking the pop ups. Uh, so I had to click here and let's click allow. Slack OAuth successful. Perfect. We can close this. And here we have our Slack connected. So we can just go to channel and uh, action. And we want to notification sent to our channel. And uh, I have actually created this special channel incoming pitch deck pipeline. And uh, here we actually uh, what we want to notify with. Uh, so let's say um, received a new Pitch deck, um, let's say report is here. And uh, we have a nice uh, quick uh, suggest button here. So you can just click here and choose from the list of possible uh, alternatives that you have. And in this case, we want GPT response. Yeah, because it is the GPT which is actually doing all the heavy work for you here. Uh, but we could also use other fields here. Uh, let's say we would like to show uh, the subject of email, for example, here. So uh, we could do it using the subject variable here. Yeah, let me just put this here into the brackets. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's just uh, let's just save our bot. And uh, actually here in the settings, uh, let's schedule the execution of our agent. And we want to, let's say every uh, one minute, we want to check the incoming emails and notify the Slack channel. So uh, yeah, uh, mostly in this case, I can imagine it could be on hourly basis uh, because if it's not something time critical, 
uh, you actually probably don't need to have like update every minute uh, but uh, to make this uh, for a quick demonstration uh, we don't want to wait one hour so let's go with one minute and save this save and let's switch on our bot here okay it's switched on and uh, let's just uh, let's just check our slack channel and uh, let's uh, just see that it's yeah this is our slack channel that i have created it's our company slack and uh, this is the channel that i have created for this demo so uh, let's just minimize it for now and uh, yeah i guess we can just continue with the email so again let's um, let's compose a new email here and again let's send it to our no reply bot x eu email subject uh, test for slack uh, we don't have to bother with the email message, but of course it could be part of the evaluation process in the GPT component. That's of course probably uh, that would be the case. Uh, but we don't have to bother with it now. And let's again send the Jingyang pitch deck. And uh, let's just send the email. Yeah, it seems to be all. And that's it. I'm not doing anything. I will just open my Slack channel and let's just wait. Hopefully in a, in a minute uh, we should see the notification with the evaluated um, report of a pitch deck by uh, GPT. And uh, also while we are waiting, uh, also, there is, uh, uh, I would say, we don't have to only rely on OpenAI. Uh, I know that a lot of folks these days, uh, they are interested in the open source uh, large language models. And uh, for these purposes, of course, uh, it's perfectly doable in BotX. And by the way, we have notification, you can see. Uh, received the new pitch deck. And in the brackets, we have our subject that we have used. And uh, it's pretty much, okay, this time the GPT decided to be a bit more generous and it gave two out of 10 score, uh, which is of course absurd. Uh, and uh, of course we would have to a little bit fine tune our GPT here to just completely uh, penalize this sort of nonsenses. Uh, but that's perfectly doable and I'm sure that if you are a VC you know this stuff much better and you can explain much better what you want and what you don't want. Uh, but to finish on that note of large language models, uh, it doesn't need to be GPT. Uh, we, have, uh, we have full integration with the replicate.com and uh, here actually uh, if you know this service um, you can use Llama 2, um, Llama 3 when it when it when it will be released, uh, Mistral, uh, Mamba, and just all sorts of these new uh, open source models uh, that are coming, uh, which are awesome, by the way. Uh, also, we will release uh, full support of Anthropic uh, very soon in BotX, so that will also be an option very soon. And uh, I think uh, uh, for, for this demonstration, I think this concludes our demo here uh, to give you an idea how you can really automate these processes. As I said, uh, in, in your business, the use case can be used in completely different uh, scenario. Uh, and uh, probably every industry, uh, there is, uh, you know, uh, just uh, avalanche of emails coming, depending how big you are. But you get the idea uh, how this could be uh, used in your company. And uh, I would con conclude this video uh, with this. So thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in our next video tutorial. Thank you. Bye.